Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes, and I'm today here with some news updates. Sorry, I'm late at the party. I've been busy with some things today. Now, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. All right, so if you've seen the thumbnail that I've that's up here, then you know what I'm going to be talking about. China changes millions, the rise of group ending to please local censors. And before I begin with this story, I'm also going to let y'all know I got a bit of a bonus story about HBO Max um, cutting Ella DeGeneres animated series, okay? So all of these are coming from Bound Into Comics, of course. So China changes millions, the rise of group ending to please um, local censors all right so most likely sounds like it has something to do with the chinese communist party and everything you know so let's go ahead and get it and get into it so so it's the number two um the second highest grossest film of 2022 next to Jurassic world dominion i don't know how that was the highest gross but anyway and it is a big reason why university has grossed more money than any other studio in 2022 so far but however it seems that china is taking a major exception to the film's ending and the, is opting to change it for the moviegoers in their region and for those who haven't seen any film yet and it's going to talk about spoilers but it's not that kind of spoilers if it's already on digital already but i digress states that um takes place in 1976 focusing on the 11 year old Gru okay so Gru um as we know you know what happens in the movie he receives an invitation to join the um this um, villain league but then he's rejected and then next thing you know he's going to look and prove himself to be the world's greatest villain by stealing their um um, tri um prized possession and everything and now they're working to catch him to get it back all right so in the international version, it says here, the film ends with Gru and Wild Knuckles riding off together after Knuckles faked his own death to evade capture. Apparently, Chinese censors were not happy with the bad guy winning in the end. In the Chinese version, there's an addendum by censors showing that Wild Knuckles, the main character in the heist film, was caught by police and served 20 years in jail interesting so basically universal is pulling a disney move or semi disney move you know but they it's like they're taking it a bit further okay where wild knuckles is instead of um faking his own death he's going to jail facing 20 years and it shows that you know china is all about letting the bad guy, letting the bad guy lose and the one the good guys to win all right because they feel that you know they want to keep the adage of the whole good guys um finish um um and everything you know and it says here that Gru is also cons who's a cook conspirator wild knuckles returned to his family and his biggest accomplishment is being the father to his three girls so i'm guessing that they might have went on ahead and took that and then fast forward it to the future to when he's a grown up okay that's my guess and everything okay now it's um the goes into um details about other movies where they um didn't really fit the chinese social standards like right here fight club they altered the original um ending where the protagonist and his alter ego blow up some skyscrapers and this was not in the version shown in the domestic streaming site um 10 cent video but instead, an on-screen script it said police rapidly figured out the whole plan and arrested all criminals, successfully preventing the bomb from exploding. All right. And the changes were merely mocked among the Chinese fans of the original film. That, that shows that, you know, either they didn't really like it or they just, you know, decided to make fun of the fact that an American company decided to go ahead and make changes. That way they can continue to make money. Okay and even elicited response from the film's director and the author of the novel was based on so yeah they would they it was like it really upset a lot of people and the chinese government didn't care all right so the tencent later restored the original ended ending and then do say an online movie from review publisher with 14.4 million followers on weibo that's their chinese version of instagram okay and it says the Chinese version of the film runs one minute longer than the international version. Okay. So someone was quoted here um, stating, well, do say was quoted saying, it's only us who need a special guidance and care, but feared that a cartoon would corrupt us. So I think he's saying that about the, um, the, the, um, the 
China, the, about China itself, okay? If not, talking about the um, CCP, if you will. Okay, so then it says here, China's place a limit on the number of overseas films that can be shown in domestic cinemas. Okay, so yes, I've heard, did hear about that before where the, there's like a lot of Hollywood films and everything will try to bring their things um over their movies over there and stuff, but then they the um the country itself doesn't want the films and then to be played the ccp didn't want to be played because of the things that's in it you know all the westernized values and all of that they don't want it in the films prime example um they didn't want the movie they didn't want um eternals over there because of the director you know chloe um chloe chow she was really 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 critical about the ccp okay to the point where they rejected the movie and they refused to play it in theaters okay there okay and early this year, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and its parent company, Sony, were hit with a request from the Chinese government demanding the Statue of Liberty be deleted from the movie's ending, where Sony rejected that request. All right. Um, so it seems to me like they wanted to um, continue to promote Chinese values and everything, you know. They went. They wanted the Statue of Liberty that's taking place in a different country to be deleted because it seems to me, and I might be wrong, and I'm just speculating here because of the fact that they don't want their um citizens to go ahead and try to look to um dream to go back to go um and leave the country for America or any other country. Okay, so that's my guess. I could be wrong. It, let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong about that. And there's somebody named Kenny Ng, an associate professor specializing in film censorship at Hong Kong Baptist University's Academy of Film, stated that crime novels in China always coincide with the pol police beating the criminals. Neither Universal Pictures nor the Chinese government have responded to the edited ending of the film. Okay, so, yeah, that's basically what um, happened. You know, they they would ban movies that, from, that were made in America and to China in China unless they were going ahead and fix it. All right. And then, you know, they did that with or like a number of Disney films. I'm pretty sure they were they did that. Um, They did do it with the Eternals movie. OK, where they took it out. And then they also I, I believe they did the same thing with Lightyear. But it's amazing. Disney and the other companies, they were um they want to change up the things in the posters or in the movies themselves. So that because they know that China is the biggest customer. Okay, there's more people in the population than the US alone. And if they can get like a, a high rating score in China and everything, where it's number one movie in their box office in the country, that means more money for, for them. Okay, so that's why it's important where it's not only important to focus on the domestic box office numbers, but also the international. All right, because the biggest money, um, the biggest customer in international market is China. All right. So that's where, you know, also, um, if y'all remember the Fast and Furious movie with John Cena in it, he was apologizing with his about his comments to, on Taiwan to China, to China and everything because the, the film company didn't want to lose them as a customer. OK, so a lot of these film studios over here were willing to go ahead and change the product, even though it's already had an origin like Fight Club. So that way they'll go ahead and continue to make more money. All right. So let me know your thoughts in the um, chat below. What do you think about this whole thing? Um, you, um, what are your thoughts about the China, the um, China um, doing these things to the American films and stuff? Let me know your thoughts below. And also, if you if I went um, wrong anywhere in the video, please let me know in the comments below. And also, if you enjoyed what I shared in this video, please smash that like button and also share the video everywhere on social, social media. And if you ever done so and you enjoy all my content, please click that subscribe button and, and also click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads. Until then, peace.